What's happening? Welcome. Appreciate y'all pressing the play button. Appreciate y'all joining me. YouTube sending out the notifications a little late. Shout out to the milkman being in the building. <laughs> what's happening? What's good? Cali in the house. All right now. That's what's up. Sound for this. This will be interesting. Yes, it will. Because I'm going to try to do get some correction and instructions. I hear these goddamn babies in these streets. I think um, we don't care. <laughs> We play too much. I just got to go ahead and tell y'all. For those of you who is new around here, I am Willie Williams. Appreciate y'all for joining. Please remember, go to the WillieWilliamsShow.com. If you'd like to see what we call the event video, please go to the Patreon, the Willie Williams Show. Those are the videos that we cannot put up on YouTube because y'all know our YouTube be out here faking. That's what's up. You say, East New York, Brooklyn is in the house. You say, I'm here for that handsome 6 five. All right, now. What's up, Willie? West Los Angeles, 323 is in the building say what's happening chill will vegas in that bit that's what's up say hey willie cali in the building that's what's happening say ms report that is M mississippi reporting for the correction and instructions say hey willie how y'all doing right now say hey willie new york city harlem is in the building say mm. say excited to catch a live say i'm glad you speaking on this story yeah yeah yeah. i i have been having issues having little issues i think i got to get a root canal or something like that now t killing me you know but i'm going on to talk through it because i'm on that um <laughs> that essential <laughs> i'm on that essential stuff that we need to go on and make it out here on earth um i'm on a whole bunch of that shit right now it, it, it bother me you know what i'm saying it it, it 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 is strange that we was made as a people to have the type of pain that comes from a toothache i think toothache is worse than me getting shot stabbed hit by a car you know all that real shit but a goddamn toothache ain't shit funny ain't 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 ain't, ain't, ain't nothing funny you ain't trying to smash. You ain't trying to do nothing. Boy, ain't nothing <laughs> fun around any out there. Free. Just trying to go ahead on and tell you something. Um, and y'all click that thumb button as you come on in. I appreciate y'all for joining the player. Y'all know when I see something. Damn it, I got to go ahead on the share because I saw something. And I got to share it with y'all. Y'all already know. The babies had a, had a, had a, had a ceremonious. I don't even know if I should have did that word. <laughs> I tried something, don't judge me. I'm educated. Um, that's the question. Uh, 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 are darker you players failing darker you sisters? I hear so are black men failing black women. Out, out in the community, I think I did a show like that once upon a time, and I was pointing out the failures of the darker you um, um, Players out in the community, how we feeling, how we just need to go out on and get our shit together. You know what I'm saying? So I have spoken on it, so I don't mind for the um, women, ladies, or the babies to go out on and give their opinion. But, you know, it just make for good YouTube. That's what's up. Memphis is in the building. Say, Willie William, we love you in the eerie peak. Hey, I appreciate y'all for watching the player. Philly here, he say, hope you giving that correction and discretion. Oh, yeah. On all four of them, I'm showing up here. Me Memphis in the building. Say, hey, say some chocolate. Columbus in uh, Ohio is in the house. Su Suffolk County, New York is in the building. That's what's up. Say nothing worse than a paper cut. Laugh out loud. Okay, them shits do hurt. It is what it is. Finally caught my brother Willie live. What? What's that play? That's what's up. Appreciate y'all for being here. Um. The video kind of lengthy, so so so. They asked the question: Are black men failing black women? And the things that they're going to speak about is a good topic. It's something to explore, you know, because we all need to be able to go it on and give our opinion on a lot of things. But I'm gonna show you this video here first um, that I had just saw. So I was like. Let me start off with this, and then we can go right on into it because it's a lengthy video, and I'm about to do a whole bunch of starting and stopping when the babies go to talk, when them ladies go to talk, when the women go to talk, when the vaginas go to speaking. Here we go. Look, just, just, just look at it. I'm <laughs> 
That's what's up. He said, WTF. <laughs> Lizzo in the building. That's what's up. Um, He said, oh, for the love of Jeebus. For Jeebus. That's what's up. Listen, look. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. I did something. Okay. Here we go. We finna watch four beautiful women, ladies, babies. However you want to categorize them, but I'm going to categorize them. Y'all already know. Selena Johnson, Claudia Jordan, Lisa Ray, and Vivica Fox. You know, rich women. Still beautiful in their older age. That's what's up. Here we go. Let's rock. It's going to be a whole bunch of stars to stop. I'm just trying to go on tell you something. Look at this here. Is it the woman's fault? Or the men's fault. Or the men's fault, which is a very good point. I think it's cyclic. Mm. I have to blame mm. it first. No shade, men, but it's y'all fault first. Because say no shade, men, is our fault first. That's in her opinion. Really ain't tripping on that right there. Okay. If you go all the way back, we didn't create this. We didn't create the misogynistic um, ideology of having to use our bodies to get stuff. We didn't create that. You all created that. I'm going to stop right there. Sister um, jo um jo Johnson. He said that they didn't create having to use their body to go it on and collect a few things. You know, what she mean is use that monkey to go it on and get what they like. Um, We started that because of misogyny. I just want to point this out to all the sugars who love, who love to go back and use that shit as an excuse for the behaviors that's going on out here. We don't know who started nothing. That's just the facts. We don't know what happened in the beginning. We don't know when y'all start selling pussy to go on and get what you need. I don't know. Don't nobody know. Damn it, we in our photos and damn it, a few of y'all are close to your fifties and shit. You don't know. Your grandmama them didn't know. Mama them, big mama them, ain't nobody motherfucking know what happened in the beginning because don't when nobody here. Damn it, so come on, sugar. I'm I'm, I'm I'm let you speak, baby. We actually couldn't even vote. We couldn't even talk. We was uh, tied up and and, and, and clothes from my neck all the way to the floor. Sure. How you know that y'all had clothes from to the neck down to the floor in the beginning? Sugar, it wasn't no clothes. I don't know. She had to make some fly shit, didn't it? So really, you can't really say that, but we're going to let you talk. Go ahead. It, it, was, it was after, it was the way that they treated us, the way that men have um, put us in a predicament where we have had to utilize our assets to get things. What she mean by assets? is that monkey but go ahead and has made this mm -hmm. that has perpetuated this mindset and so now it has become it has spawned in all these different forms yes. and now it's just a fool everywhere now can we stop it yeah because you have women like you know you have women on the call all these women on the call right here that don't do that and know that they don't need to do that but then our mothers mm -hmm. some of our mothers I'm going to stop it right there. You said we got women on the panels that don't need to do that, and they don't do that. Well, um, um, few of y'all used to. Y'all done gave y'all mongers up to whoever y'all choose to give your mongers up, y'all. Y'all were busting it open before the cameras and shit, before the camera phones and all that shit. The one thing I don't like about the old bitch, well, baby, people with coochies and shit, Y'all act like the shit that the new babies out here is doing that y'all want a part of that shit. It's just that we got the phones and shit. We got the phones, the camera, we can twerk. We all on Instagram, fly shit, Twitter, you know what I'm saying, Facebook. So don't act like this shit new, but then we going to let you talk because, you know, y'all done hit the wall. But come on, sugars. Yeah, no accountability. <laughs> no accountability. Come on, sugars. I'm not, uh, uh, and I have to blame mothers a little bit because our mothers are harder on the women and they treat the boys 
like they baby fat boys. Can I say this, Selena? I yes. used to say this all the time that I believe that a lot of women, they raise their daughters, but they yes. love their Yes, daughters. yes. They love so, what and they they I said they raise their daughters, but they love their yes. sons. So, and, and so when so girls, girls young girls yeah young girls do not have we don't have the like for me like and i and i know i have friends that are daddy's girls and i have such a i am uh, an admiration of that like oh, I, have a, I, I have an admiration for that because i have a whole father who was a whole singer and everything i got i got from him mostly and I have absolutely no relationship with him. And my mother raised all of us, because it's all girls, real real tough. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So when um, sometimes, and in my relationships with men, because um, this is my second husband, you know, but... Yeah, yeah. Um, ain't no moonlighting diamond. <laughs> diamond up there from Players Club. Come on now. <laughs> In the relationships with men. <laughs> yeah, I'm just I'm trying not trying to be Elizabeth Taylor R and B. But <laughs> in relationships <laughs> with men, um, I have been unable at times to be soft. Um, and in the business. I'm so glad that she said that. And sometimes in relationships, she has been unable to be soft. Now, that's very, very, very commendable of her for taking a, a, a tad bit of responsibility on the subject that she's talking about. But remember, she um, is talking still about the mamas and how the mamas raise the um, 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 daughters and stuff. You know, this is the second hubby, the first one and last, but she here now here we go you say can we talk about coronavirus <laughs> not today not not today but here we go we're uh, we were taught by our moms be hard take it be strong don't let them see you cry you know right. that they have taken our god-given actual right to be feminine to oh ooh. shout out to jim bones for the two dollar super chat he said they're not even following their own understand I'm trying to taste something she said that mama them told them don't cry be hard stand up and all that flash shit. listen baby sugar that is how males get raised when we fall down scratch our shit get up suck it up be a man move on that won't give a damn whatever you ain't got shot in the face tighten up don't cry don't bleed all over my goddamn furniture you know what i'm saying it's basic shit like that because that's what we was taught you all <laughs> Y'all with vaginas was able to cry and get cuddled and get hugged. And now, 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 some folk did uh, uh, stand up, be strong woman. Uh-huh. That's what some of them had done said. But sugar, we ain't hear that shit in the street like that. Come on. Be, to be soft, to be, to be ladies, to be women, we have to kind of buck up all the time. She said that, that we done took her God... They God given right to be feminine. Who the fuck? Who, 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 who? If it's your God given right, <laughs> all right, I might fuck around, start preaching. <laughs> Watch this. If it's your God given right and God gave it, God gave it to you, sugar. Can't nobody take it away. Can 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 a church say amen? <laughs> if it, if you claim God gave it to you, baby, man can't take what God. Gave you sugar, or are you a non believer like me? Come on, baby, I'll let you talk. To get people to take us seriously, and some of that has bled into my relationship. So then, when that she said that she had to buck up for folk to go ahead on and take us serious, let me explain some sugar. Ain't nobody took your femininity. We can't control your femininity because that's something that you're supposed to have, or that's innate in you. Y'all take on masculinity. Y'all take on masculinity. We don't take away your femininity. It's up to you, sure. Mm -hmm. The choices you make, but it's okay. You eventually just blame the man. Go ahead. Oh, shout out to Aaron for the $5 donation. I appreciate you. Through, through the PayPal, the link is in the description in case y'all like to support like that. We got the cash app going down at the bottom. It's strolling at the bottom. Dollar sign, Willie Williams Show. Thank y'all for just being here. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, sugar. That happened to the man. Now he like, oh, she acted like a diva and a bitch. And then he'll go and cheat on her or beat her to try to diminish her so that he can have some control. So 
So players out here just beating the shit out of bras and shit to try to diminish your bra because you acting like a diva and a bitch. No, your mouth get the shit slapped at you. And that's really where the problem at because your bitch, damn it, your mammies ain't taught you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Didn't you just talk about a God-given right for your femininity, sugar? Well, God say hush. God say hush. But you ain't listen to that. Come on, sugar, talk to us. Oh, I feel like it's cyclic. But I do feel like the men kind of kicked shit off and then the mothers didn't do good with trying to we didn't we didn't fight for our rights early enough, you know. I'm in agreement with that there. Got that yeah, that means you should have fought for your rights earlier. Nah, 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 nah. I'm with her when she right. Come on now, baby. Say we can spin on Vivica. <laughs> so so it's just point it's that you made about that. I feel like black women have never really had the luxury to be feminine, to be yes. soft, because a lot of us, uh, uh, Lisa, where I know you had a really good relationship. Did yeah, this lady Houston sister just say, uh, Claudia, did she just say that they never had a chance to be fem? I got to back that shit up. I got to back it up. I got to catch her women have never really had the luxury to be feminine to be yes. soft because a lot of us uh, uh Lisa Ray who the fuck who should little light-skinned sister who took your luxury away to be feminine you know it's kind of funny because a lot of then now 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 we got a lot of women lacking femininity but i would say in the darker hue community it's a whole bunch of that shit lack. But what about all of the ones that keep, kept kept their femininity intact and till this day still keep their femininity intact, even though y'all say that y'all pretty much went through the same thing together, sugar? How does this shit work? I don't know. Come on. The Midwest in there, bitch. That's what's up. I know you had a really good relationship with your dad, and he was in your life. And and, and a lot of us have not. And, and a lot of times, like, that's your first protector, right? So you out here in this world, no one's really protecting you. You don't have a big brother. You have to be like that to make it. You got white men making more money than you, white women, Asian men, Asian women. And then it's like, you wonder why we like this. We it, It's 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 a, a, tool, a tool of survival. It's a survival. It's a tool of survival for, for you to not use your femininity, sugar. Let me go ahead on and teach you a little bit. You did you, see, cause one thing, and this is the problem I got with the dog and you sisters in the community. Y'all believe that y'all acting masculine and get you further. No, 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 no. Femininity get your ass <laughs> Get your ass in houses and cars and shit like that in long-term relationships. Because one thing about players, especially true players, they do not like to be in no type of relationships with a vagina that act like she got a penis. Come on, can, damn it, can the church say amen? Come on, now. Nah. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me let you ride, baby. Bible too, right? And, and you know what, too, Claudia? First of all, they took us, uh, okay, they took our dance. From when they took us from Africa, that was just about because to we, yeah, we celebrate life by dancing, and the movement is just movement of a feel good. They taken that and made it something totally different and not artistic. Because even in Jamaica, you know, Jamaica know how to wind that thing, man, yes. and it makes you. Go she jumped into the whole conversation to talk about twerking. They took our dance. What the fuck? Oh, so they took y'all dance and capitalized on it. And that's really what this, it, the, 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 the upsetting part is to your sugars. A whole bunch of y'all actually do feel like that. I like that you sisters started doing some shit and the world praised them. And did it, but when we do it, we get looked down upon. She say, and especially Jamaicans, because they know how to whine and shit, so y'all continue to lead with your ass. And then you wonder why when we look at your face, we don't care nothing about that. Turn around, be looking to see what you're working with. And all we want is some coaching. That's what's up, so it ain't our fault. <laughs> it's y'all fault. Jim Bones with a $2 super chat say, Femininity never lost at a child support here. Mm. You ever notice that? A lot of the babies with a lot of the masculinity traits tend to pour out that femininity when they are down at child support or when they round out lighter hue brothers. Oh, oops. Oh, whoa, how can I learn that? How can I be down? But now it got exploited in a way in which now we like, 
like Bernie Mac said in Players Club. Now the white woman has said the best thing that anybody heard, pay me. Yeah, fuck that. Pay me. That's what that white bitch had done said out here. That's in 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 the murmurments of Bernie Mac, old great out there in the street. She's upset that somebody took ass twerking. All right, go ahead. You know what I mean? And so it became okay. more of a, a pay me type of a ritual of let me do this for everybody as a show. Mm-hmm. Now it's a show piece. It's dancing is, is for show. Yeah, you know, and it's not for the art of it. Sean Robbins says, bring back the adoration of black women. Yes. And and I say I say I've I've said this a lot of times that I I think black men and black people forget. Uh hello, Mr. Man, Mr. Black Man. We was getting beat and we were slaves equally. Like the master didn't say, Oh, she a woman, so I'm not gonna beat her. We were beat the same, we were sold the same, we were separated from our kids the same. So uh, I, I get sick of men acting like they're the only black men acting like they're the only ones that's going through it and the world is bad to them. Black women are almost like on the bottom of the bottom. I'm in agreement with that. That sugar, y'all, well, the Dockey Hugh community, the Dockey Hugh sisters is at the bottom. And it's not, it's not that your Dockey Hugh sisters. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to help you, sugar. I, it's attitude and behavior, baby. It's mentality. That's really all it is. Hashtag no daddies out there in the goddamn street. That's really all it is. No, 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 no guidance in the lack of structure, baby. That's really all it is. It ain't got nothing to do because you're darker, Hugh. Really don't. Sorry to tell you. I hate when you motherfuckers have to go all the way back to some shit that you didn't live in, which was slavery. We was beat the same. We were sold the same. Yeah, but after a while, we did not all get treated the same because y'all had what y'all said in the beginning. Y'all was able to do what? Use that monkey to get what you wanted. Y'all went to putting that monkey on master and master kind of treated you better than the penises because master really didn't want the penises and then he impregnated you more. Y'all pop out the little lighter skin, Hugh babies and the mixed babies and all that black shit right there. So don't act like it always went like that, sugar. Y'all was able to do things that the men weren't able to do because master only use for the dark and huge players was work, baby. I'm just trying to tell you something. So our our plight is the same, but not all the way through, baby. It's just not all the way through true like that, sugar. But ain't now one of us on here talking and speaking right now live through slavery. Sorry. We, I mean, as far as how they mm-hmm. how they view us, we also had to suffer the same trauma that black men are dealing with as well, and the fact that we're women too. And I- so it's less trauma because you are a female, baby. You have let your governments support you. If we just gonna make it like a dog hue argument, which it is a dog hue argument, our governments is for y'all. Basically, it's for women. Women get treated different than men. Men are held accountable. Women are not. Women, men get punished for our decision making. Women get pats on the back and ask, "Well, what she did? Why?" It's not the same, baby. This equality shit, because we darker hues together. No, sugar. Who been getting killed in the streets? Who been getting killed by police? Just throwing it out there. Say, yeah, close mouth, don't get fed. Trying to tell you something. I think that black men could do a better job at nurturing us, because that's where it could start. You know what I'm saying? If, If they uplifted us, more than what they do. I'm going to start right there. Bam. You started off good. Black men could do better in nurturing, which is a very good point. But let me let me just throw out like a quick nugget of really what the problem is. <sighs> when the dark hue player got to fight with the mammy, well, the baby mama and the system to be a father, to be able to give you proper directions and instruction, sugar. You gonna have to go back to what you said in the beginning. Uh, um, we got to blame some of these mamas. The mamas choosing the dudes who just really don't want no goddamn baby. 
But it's our fault. Come on, sugar. Then maybe we we wouldn't be mm-hmm. all up in the TV screen when our asses and shit shaking the shit because they be right in the screen. Yeah, girl, you doing it? Oh, I like that. They right in there talking about how wonderful it is and how great it is. She just said if we did a better job in instru- um <laughs> guidance and instructions, correction and instructions out here, and able to go out on a teacher lead that y'all wouldn't be out here shaking your ass. But I thought y'all was scrolling. I thought y'all was strong. I thought y'all was adults. Well, I used to think y'all was adults, but uh, that's why I call you babies. You refuse to be responsible and take accountability, sugar, because somebody else didn't do the things that you thought that they should do is the reason why y'all here hoeing yourself, twerking yourself, showing your ass before you show your face. Baby, you're leading with that ass, and you got your little twerk thing going on and shit. You know what I'm saying? But it's us because of shit we didn't do when your mammas picked us. And and hyping up that. Do y'all think that? Do you think so it's our fault that we hyping up the ass shaking? Really? Mm. That's what's up. <laughs> Say make black women great again. I'm trying to tell you something. Come on, sugar. Black men are failing black women when it comes to protecting us. <laughs> yep. I know it's a very big statement, a big question. That was a big question, sugar. I just wish that y'all was able to answer this one question. Protect you from what? I'm gonna answer my own question in a minute. Go ahead. I do. I do. I think there are good black men out there. I think it's you know case by case, but as a whole, I absolutely do. Um, and it's not because they choose other races. That's not the reason. I'm so glad she said that. It's not because we choose other races. That's what, I still don't know what the hell we protect y'all from. But actually, I do. But I'm gonna wait a little bit. I think that we are a, a mirror of them, of their pain. We are a reflection of their pain. And I think because black men have low self-esteem in a lot of areas and they feel like they can't, they can't um, satisfy us like we should mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, um, I think they give up on us. Why don't you ask the men if we can satisfy you mentally, spiritually, financially, physically, all that flat shit. Ask us first. Instead of saying that we can't, maybe we don't want to. Maybe it's your attitude. Maybe it's your body type. Maybe, maybe because you got on that damn natural and you refuse to to come outside with your real. Not you, sugar, but for the ones who don't come outside with their real. Mm, maybe because we demand we demand their greatness. We. De- <laughs> say, we demand your greatness. Who have y'all seen some of these baby mama, baby daddy hookups? <laughs> I'ma say the majority of the dog and Hughes sisters who pick their baby daddy, that can't be demanding greatness, baby. Have you been out here in any goddamn street shoe? <laughs> I'm just saying. If they demand if listen, if the babies demanded greatness then we wouldn't have a twerking, showing their ad, busting it open, the OnlyFans page, all the porn sites, and the ghetto gaggers and shit. We wouldn't have all that if y'all demand greatness. Confusing, but mm, better talk. Shout out to Michael for the $50 cash out. Appreciate you pimping. Yes, I do let the baby, t- you say, good show. I appreciate y'all for being here. Click that thumbs up while y'all here. Come on now. Black men they ride, do they ride harder for their friends for each other than they do? I don't know. That's a good statement. Uh, a good statement. I, Vivica, I want to bring you. That back. is. Well, I, I mean, you know, I just, you know, it, I, I wish that sometimes with men that they work as hard having good relationships with women as they do with their boys. Yeah. Okay. And Real I want to be clear to anyone that's watching this: this is not a male bashing. Segment, no. Is it? He said this ain't a bash session. What it is, Claudia? Talk, talk to us. Come on. Yeah, we just want to be real. Not at all. We yeah. all love yeah. men. Okay. He said we just keeping it real, but then when players out here um, giving their opinions and so called keeping it real, a lot of sisters got a problem and say that we 
a lot of us out here crying and complaining, but we doing exactly what y'all sitting there doing, just keeping it real. I'm, I don't understand. Say these babies never heard a fence walk by Mildred. I can't read the rest of it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. We have to have these conversations to start coming together because we're not together right now, right? We're like on two different pages. That's the truth. And it's I just love the truth. We're like riding for each other and, and, and like really protecting each other. Like when you see a girl, a little girl that's being turned out, don't call her a hoe. Figure out what's going on with her. What happened to this little girl? When we see a little girl giving away that monkey out in the community, we supposed to say, why Why you out here giving your monkey away, baby? For real? Mm. So when the grown ones is out here hoeing, don't call a hoe, ask her what, what? Baby, why you out here? Well, let me go ahead and answer that question for you, sugar. Because the answer is going to be she got bills to pay. She's trying to get that paper up right now. It players out here paying for that coochie. That's really the only reason they selling that monkey for the most part. It may be some underlying issues, and normally it is, but who gives a damn? It's trying to go ahead on and get that paper, baby. Listen, see, and it's a difference when, 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 when you have made it somewhere with you in your life. Maybe your life was different than other women. Hmm. It, it, the sad part is, it be some of the most beautiful women out here slinging that monkey. <laughs> that way, uh, giving that monkey away, but this got issues in the background. We don't know a bit history. We ain't got no time to be. Do do you know how long it'll take us to question everybody baby out here getting away that monkey trying to sell that product? I would say it's about over 80, 90% of females selling that monkey shout out to latoya for the 199 super chat this is why i like men and women <laughs> all right now options baby do you we ain't mad that sugar and um damn it the answer to that other question oh we ain't protecting y'all and i say protect y'all from what they kind of answered it earlier we ain't protecting them from themselves. They don't know how to make the responsible decisions for the most part. Not all, not all. That's really what protection means. And I would just like to say, you cannot protect what you don't control. You can't protect what you don't control. When a bitch can follow her own goddamn understanding, you can't protect that bitch. You can't do, that bitch gonna do what you wanna do. Ain't nothing you can do, sugar. And remember, because of back in the day is why y'all giving that monkey away and twerking and all that fly shit and getting upset. That light of you sister done turned twerking and shaking that ass into a few dollars. Come on now. That could be your daughter. Mm -hmm. No, it couldn't be if I'm out here looking at a hoe slinging that monkey, baby. No, let me take that back. Actually, you are right, especially when hashtag no dad is in the goddamn household. That could be your daughter on the pole when it ain't no dad is in positive influence in that baby life. You is absolutely correct. It could be. But let me explain this to you. Typically, if a man come across his daughter out there slinging that monkey, a lot of times she 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 ain't she either gonna stop slinging monkey, or that'll be the last time that her daddy see. Her slanging monkey. And if daddy was in her life, she definitely ain't, ain't slanging no monkey on the goddamn corner. Maybe she'd be on OnlyFans or something like that, doing undercover some fly shit. But the shit ain't gonna be out there. You know what I'm saying? And and there actually have been a few daddies that done slid up on their daughters when they out there trying to buy that, buy that monkey and realize that that's a goddamn daughter. Hashtag incest. That's what's up. Go ahead. All right. We gotta be more like that, mm -hmm. not like laughing at it. And We need more of a community feel with us. No, nah, that shit funny. Yeah, they're slinging that monkey. Let's just be honest. Look, 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 look. For all the players out there that is entrepreneurs in the community, entrepreneurs in the community, yeah, y'all ever ask them why the hell they slinging that monkey? Slinging that dope or mm -mm, product? <laughs> do you ever ask all of them why? Or do y'all just call them D-boys? I call them entrepreneurs around here, but y'all call them D-boys D, D boys in the community. 
You never ask question why. You just laugh at them, especially when they get shot or go to jail or some flash shit. The shit don't stop your day when the entrepreneurs keep going to prison. But you need for us to stop and ask, man, where the culture? Why you selling your culture? Like I say, hell, it kind of look worse to well. A lot of y'all out here getting that monkey wet for free shit. It's your product. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> say, put positive fathers in your kids' lives. Yeah, we need to start there. Mm -hmm. And it's only up to the woman. People think, oh, this shit 50 50, producer, yeah, yeah, it's 50 50, creating. But bringing it to fruition on earth is 100% on the woman. We can't get you pregnant unless you open up them legs, sugar, and you say, come on, head on up in. We can't pee in you unless you allow us to pee in you. You pick us. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm let it go. The, the very fact well, that African Americans. Oh, go on here, Lisa. Well, you talking about me? So go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say real, real quickly the very, the very concept of trafficking and the fact that black yeah. men traffic black women. Bye. Trafficking women. So they are here selling their own monkey, but do you know what falls under trafficking sugar? Did you know now if you have what is deemed a prostitute, a whore, a hooker in your vehicle? Do you know that if you is a P-I-M-P sugar and they just in your vehicle, you can have a bitch out there slanging monkey or she got herself out there slanging monkey. She just got a business manager, a financial advisor. That falls under sex trafficking, baby. They could have been selling their monkey way before they got a financial advisor, a business manager. But once they get that right there and the law come into play, he will get charged with sex trafficking sugar. But don't worry about it, baby. Um, Y'all y'all rich. Y'all ain't out here in the street with the rest of us. I'm just saying. Come on, baby. Bad of them. Mm. That's, that's a fool yeah. to me already. Yeah. I, I was going to piggyback off of that because I was going to say really what it is is that our men are not being held accountable for what it, it says back in the Bible days is that when a man finds a wife, he is to find a good thing. Yep. <laughs> Talk that Bible, baby. Come on now. When a man finds a wife, he finds himself a good thing. Baby, sugar, listen, baby. Y'all pick us. Yeah, we holler at y'all. We is putting in applications and shit. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to get down with the get down. But it's up to y'all to say yeah or nay, baby. When the man finds a good thing, well, obviously it ain't a lot of good things out here because there's a whole bunch of babies out here that have been peed in by multiple players and producing the ugly ass churn out in the community. So when the man finds it the good thing, shout out to the players who find them a good thing. The players still got a good thing. See, that's one thing that you really understand. When the player realizes that he have a good thing or he know that he done found a good thing, typically, kind of stay with that good thing, baby. Come on, sugar. And yes. so he is the leader. He is the king. He is the provider. But if you come to us and you're not that, then you're forcing us to take on what you were supposed to take on in the beginning. Bow. If you not what the Bible say that you supposed to be as a man, a protector, a provider, a leader, because you is the king, we forcing you to take on the role of a man. And it don't say that in your book, sugar. God, <laughs> in red letters, have never said where well, if the man can't be all of those things, the protector, provider, um, the king, the leader and shit, that you should take on the male role. See, I like when y'all talk that goddamn book and obviously y'all ain't read the motherfucker, but mm, you love God and Jesus at the same damn time. Two, two different people, but it's really one. Child, don't get me started out this mother. But um, when we look around and don't find the woman that's supposed to be the help me, the queen, we don't take on y'all role. Because the Bible don't tell us to do that. I'm just throwing it out there for my believers. Say, hey, sugar, 
<laughs> what you say with a court no yeah that's what's up therefore there's a wedge automatically in the relationship yep. Yep. so he's trying to play catch up and so what we do because our men are catching up we actually um allow him to bring other things and fold other things into the relationship so that means you picking men who don't meet the standard of God? Because why is you with a man that got to catch up? You shouldn't be with a man that got to catch up. You get to pick them. Let me explain this to all the babies out here with vaginas. Y'all pick us. You just put the applications in. I know. I know ain't nobody ever told y'all that. I do understand. Y'all pick us now you picking men that is less than that leader that financial provider and all that fly shit there da, da, da. but you picked them baby and still won't take accountability responsibility for the shit that the choices that y'all made with your monkey which one of y'all were dating 50 cent oh my bad here, here we go to accommodate him to help offset some of the things meaning to me i've always said if i'm not enough for you in the bedroom as a in a relationship then you need to go ahead and do that then because we're not gonna double dip we're not gonna you know what i mean like i'm enough i am you say you enough and that's why i have to teach the players that because we've been lied to for so long we've been lied to about this monogamy shit, and that's not natural this is why a lot of y'all do get cheated on i gotta go ahead and throw that out there baby but you don't know if you enough for each and every man that you done dealt with because obviously you ain't enough you not with none of those men just saying what if i was to say hell i was enough for all the broads that i've been in a relationship with remember i am the relationship expert 99 percent of my relationships have failed so obviously i want enough for all them babies that i choose to put in an application with see see how accountability work i take responsibility but that's a man thing no but if you're bored with something well then let's talk about why you're bored because give me the option to be able to make that up, to learn some new tricks, to do some other things, so you're not for it. But let's find. I'm in agreement with him. If there's problems in the relationships, communication is key. We got to talk about some things. But, but, but one of the biggest problems, especially with Dog and Hugh's sisters, y'all got that masculinity bug in your ass the way you want to not listen. You don't want to comply. You got all the answers, and your Bible said, hush. The Lord said, hush. Say, listen. Remember, God, Christ, man, woman, child. <laughs> Don't get me started out here. Not in each other. Because I feel like if you start doing it in, in your relationship and bringing in other people, then that means you're bringing in more havoc to be able to have to, to iron out. And that's when it becomes too much. I hate when I hear men, brothers say, they got with a white woman because they'll do anything. They're freaky. I'm like, if that black woman feels mm -hmm. comfortable with you as her leader, her king, her, her the man that, can, that she feels comfortable with, you can get all of that. She said these bitch babies out in the community. Uh, shit. <laughs> Wait a minute. Shout out to Rodney for the $5 cash app. Appreciate you, Pippa, for watching. Listen. Did that baby just say that fly shit? If she trusts you and fear you and all that shit, got respect for you, then she gonna do it. Boy, they hope, but no, 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 no. Hold on. I can't do it like that. Because I had them say something else. We're not going to, you know what I mean? Like, I'm enough. I am enough. But if you're bored with something, well, then let's talk about why you're bored. Because give me the option to be able to make that up, to learn some new tricks, to do some other things. So you're not for it, but let's find that in each other. Because I feel like if you start doing it in, in your relationship and bringing in other people, then that means you bringing in more havoc to be able to have to, to iron out. She and that's when it becomes too much. When I hear men, brothers say they got with a white woman because they'll do anything. They're freaky. I'm like, if that black woman feels mm -hmm. comfortable with you as her leader, her king, her, her the man that, can, that she feels comfortable with, you can get all of that. He said if the dog and his sisters feel comfortable and you as a leader and the king and all that shit, she'll do that shit with bitch. Do you know how much these bitch boy list <laughs> You 
could just meet these bras, baby. But see, 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 this is why I be having to tell our sisters out here when they try to tell us about women when y'all are not the ones who is trying to get women. Y'all don't even know each other. But in in a sense, y'all do know each other. That's why y'all sit on the goddamn panel lying like a motherfucker. Y'all's a bunch of motherfuckers lie. But your baby, so you supposed to do exactly what you're doing out here. If you feel comfortable, yo, eat sucking toes and shit. They swallowing on the fur goddamn day. So you mean that they're comfortable with everybody that they be with because they are doing these type of things. Now, I can see if you were to say it like back in the... 80s and 90s, 80s, 70s and shit like that because I like the Hugh sisters been busting it open. They been doing their goddamn thing and was proud of it or was not ashamed of their sexuality. It was the darker Hugh sisters who was having a problem with doing these type of things but don't act like they weren't doing it. They just didn't want the community to know that they was doing it the way that they was doing it because this shit been going on forever. Don't act like the shit just started because we're in 2020. Sugar. No, we ain't gonna do that. If she feel comfortable... Have you been on Instagram? Listen, Instagram is the new porn hub out here in the goddamn street. They is sucking meats. They got dinglings in them on Instagram, sugar. Trying to direct people to their OnlyFans page. If we, if she can't, this is her second time going out like the Hughes sisters, baby. Why is that your argument when you a light of Hughes sister? but not lighter, lighter, lighter hue. But you lighter than a darker hue. You get more preference, preferential treatment, special treatment than a darker hue, sisters. I remember on the video that I saw that you feel inner like a darker hue, sister. How the fuck that, how the fuck that work? How the fuck you feel dark skin? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know where that come from. We don't, but... We men, we don't say stupid shit like that, but uh, it's the baby, so uh, it is what it is. Come on, baby. Yes, and yes. I, I said, mm -hmm. put the cop out. Now, we got a viewer a question from LeVan hey. in 1971. He says, okay, so can y'all take direction from a black man from a place of love without getting defensive, ladies? We do this. We get defensive. Uh, uh, listen, listen. I, I want to start answering that first. Um, th this is my thing, though. It comes from who's giving directions. Mm -hmm. If you're someone that I respect mm -hmm. and if you're being, if I was in a relationship with you as my man, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to stop it right there because the question was, uh, will you be able to, to take directions from a player and the player question was speaking in the sense of you having that man. He said, but it depends on who it is. He was talking about in relations, because that's what y'all are saying, relations. Shout out to Latonya for the $10 super chat. Hey, Pastor, teach them children some common sense. I'm, I'm trying my best. He said, Claudia, wag as fuck. I hear talk slick. Listen, does it matter whether you respect the person that's giving you directions if the directions is good directions? But then again, that's just common sense. I have to respect you. So why would you be with a man in a relationship that you don't respect? See, again, you make these choices. You bring this upon yourself, baby. That's all. But, you know, it's our fault. Don't worry about it. I'm going to give you respect. I want you to be the man of the house. However, yeah. if you are not behaving as the man of the house, mm -hmm. and I, as the woman, am carrying the majority of the load, the respect goes where? Out the window. That's a that's an excellent point, and she is correct about that. The only bad part about that is, Sugar, you picked the man that wasn't a leader and a provider and a king, like y'all said earlier, according to the Bible. That's not what you did, Sugar. You picked the man that wasn't where you wanted or what in your mind that a man should be, and now you won't respect the man, but you'll stay with him. You just won't take directions from him. Oh, you'll keep getting the dingling and have what is called, um, like a lot of y'all like to pick men that's lesser than, lesser than successful for control, baby. That's all it is. That's why you still deal with a nothing dude. 
because you may got more money and more things and more traveled and all that fly shit right there. So you can talk to them and, and handle them any kind of way. But you notice when um, you couldn't do a player like that because um, I think you're single. So ain't none of the dudes you was able to control them for very long if you was controlling, baby. It didn't work like that. Shout out to Latonya for the $1 super chat. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, sugar. So that's what's happened in to me with relationships nowadays is that, you know, having a good partner mm -hmm. takes work from both sides. Mm -hmm. You can't just dominate me if you're living off of me and I'm taking care of you, but then you want to dominate me and tell me what to do. That's not going to work. A penis does not make you a man alone. It can't that part. Can I tell you, I interviewed DeAndre she said a penis cannot make you a man. Well, let me say a vagina does not make you a woman. It can kind of go both ways, sugar. But we'll never say, yeah, a vagina don't make you a woman because you motherfucker is adults, but you churn. So that's what's up. Um, Shout out to, Lato uh, to, to Latoya for the 199 Super Chat. Say, never trust ladies that quote the Bible equals whole. <laughs> that's what's up. That's what's up, Let, man, man. With Whitfield, his new book, Male yes. Worst Man. Yep. Book that book. I recommend for a mm -hmm. lot of young. He's men, real smart. And men in general. He's real smart because he wrote a book, I guess, on manhood and how to live and all that flash shit right there. I haven't read a brother book, but that mean. He would tend to be smarter than y'all because um, one of y'all got a man, as far as I know, one of y'all holy matrimony, my condolences. Um, I don't know if the rest of y'all have a man, but y'all have had men previously, so and that is what you're picking. You don't know how to pick. Hell, I say the majority of women don't know how to pick men. It's just the facts, my opinion. Read this book. Um, when I inter interview Andre, I'm going to tell you something. I was enlightened because he said sometimes it's not always the man's fault. You had to be told that from a man, and obviously you respect that man because you listen to what that man say. You ain't give him no feedback. Say it's not always the man's fault. So previously to him telling you that, you had the thought that it's always the man's fault. Damn, play a good out there, motherfucker. Street. And she said that all these guys and boys and men need to read this book. Well, I'm going to tell you something better than the book. <laughs> Get your ass motherfucking daddy. The way the relationships go, it's because women have lowered their expectations. Mm hmm. It just ain't got Liz. <laughs> Shout out to the toy for the one ninety nine super chat. You say these beta broads they still make you question everything. I'm trying to tell you something. You say Vivica Fossils with multiple baby daddy fifty cent fifty cent. Lisa Ray has a month and get a one month engagement. <laughs> and enough said. Somebody was eating ass and shit, but <laughs> we like what we like. That's all I'm saying, <laughs> Liz. If you get your children fathers and male positive male role models in their life or figures and mentors and shit like that and have women that will comply and understand their place according to your Bible, they wouldn't need the book, but then it's still good to get positive instructions from other players, so it's still good to get the book to read. You know what I'm saying? Because one person don't know it all. Like they say, the village takes the village. I don't know what they're talking about, but y'all going out there and get the goddamn book. It might be a good read. That's a man that's coming in and he's not being qualified and being the man in that relationship. As a woman, you got to pump the brakes on that. There you go. It took a man to tell you. Listen to what she's saying. She got excited talking about the dude who wrote the book and she was like, taken back. If he's not meeting a certain qualification for you, then you need to let it go. A man had to tell you that in your 40s, damn near your 50, sugar. But y'all blame the men first. Try to communicate 
communicate with him, and yep. if you can't fill those shoes, you have to say, it's okay, this isn't going to work for me, I wish you well, and not be afraid to do that. That was the end of that. Say and not be afraid to do that. You absolutely correct. But remember in the beginning, it's our fault and why y'all out there shaking your ass and all that fly shit. Remember all of that? A man had to come on in and tell you how how you need to be handling your business when it comes down to a relationship, sugar. Again, y'all upwards of forties and fifties. Y'all got vaginas, y'all got money, y'all's pretty women, few of y'all light skin, like you sisters, you know, they typically typically get more men trying to holler at them than the dog you sisters is a fact. We ain't making this shit up. It is what it is. A lot of people say it's the colorism shit, but it is what it is. It took a man to enlighten you. Again, that's why I say these bitches need guidance. And y'all say that y'all don't need no man. Well, let me talk to the single mammoths, mamas out there in the community. That man is not needed for you, per se. It's needed to teach you goddamn children. Remember, you said if there was men there to go ahead on and guide y'all in the right direction, y'all wouldn't be out there shaking your ass, twerking, and all that fly shit. So obviously, you do need a man. It might not be your grown ass, but it needs to be your children. But then again, when you say this fly shit, you're bashing. No, just keeping it real. You know what it's in there? <laughs> now we're just being honest. We're just keeping it real. Say these females talk about men and not and not a single man anywhere near the conversation they they were having. That's what I'm trying to tell It's just funny how a lot of women talk about what a good man is and you get up in age and then you get mad at the younger bit babies in the community making the same choice picking the same type of men that y'all was picking and then get upset that they're picking these men when y'all didn't put positive males in 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 their lives that even change the trajectory of them from the way that you was doing your thing i'm i'm fucking confused but then again they they are in competitions with the younger bra because the younger bra got social media getting way more dingling out here and way more people trying to holler at them so they get more attention see the older you ladies get y'all hit a goddamn wall i know ain't nobody told you yeah you can be fitting all that shit that you can be fine to have you some paper and shit like that but the players ain't really checking for y'all like that why because you're up in age a player i'm trying i'm trying to point something out to you you get older in age that's that's why you're supposed to have a significant other by the time that you done hit 35 and all that fly shit so you go on to finish the rest of your goddamn life off because these younger players they're coming on up they seeing bad bitches out in the community that's willing to do some shit on the first day second day third day and all that fly shit right there you know because they trying to just smash and bang or uh, pump and dump like they say in the community and shit and have you even watched these youngins the females is initiating a lot of this fucking the sucking that's going on now here in the street and they is out here pumping and dumping you know some shit that y'all wanted to do but because um the social stereotype the way you would be looked at as hoes one thing about the millenniums they don't give a fuck they calling themselves hoes they tell you i'm just trying to smash but you want us to go up to them baby why you selling your coochie hell we need to go up to the ones who's giving that monkey away for free <laughs> and say bitch you need a financial advisor because obviously <laughs> Obviously, you don't know how to manage your coochie properly, baby. Mm -hmm. Say, I disagree, Willie. Older lady sexual peak ain't till the 50s and 60s. Oh, 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 no. They can still smash. These young dudes ain't trying to settle down with no oh, oh. It just said, come on, listen. When you is a pretty woman, again, you could be fitting all that shit, and especially you a celebrity. Don't be a celebrity. A lot of dudes done smash ass. You've been ran through it, even if you're not a celebrity. Hell, it's kind of worse if you're not a celebrity because you don't even have that type of image. You out here in the streets and you pretty and you find all that fly shit right there, you done had plenty dinglings. Mm-hmm. For the most part, not all, not all, not all. For the most part, you done had a lot of meats out here in the goddamn street. So by the time you get up in that age, that monkey damn near whoa out. These players want a little bit of tight monkey that's going on out here in the goddamn street. You know what I'm saying? It's just how it go. I'm just saying. We'll still smash. It's a coochie. <laughs> Come on now. Don't give a fuck. It is what it is.
But because a lot of the older folks is still, they they sign their ways. That's really where the problem at. And then the year difference, especially when it's coming down to female, because they really like to be stuck in the motherfucking way. They don't want to change. They don't want to take proper instructions and guidance about that time. It's especially when they've been single for, for so goddamn long and been a strong, independent woman and all that fly shit and getting help from the government and all that shit, you know, independent but dependent. Um, these younger players ain't really fucking with them like that unless she breaking bread and all that fly shit. And he'll still have him a younger broad on the side. Just trying to teach y'all the game. Yeah, that's a good thing. Teach your daughters to do better. <laughs> I'm just trying to say something. But shout out to the babies for giving us um some real good content right there. Um, you know, they did the best that they could with what they had. They had these four women had to pick it a little. I just want y'all to really understand that. A lot of them have been famous for over 20 years. They've had to pick it a little. They had their choices in the picking with all races of men. I just want y'all, 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 y'all non-celebrities to really pay attention to this. Here. They had the pickings of all races of men throughout the world. And they still didn't pick good men. Or men worth being with for a long time and staying with. You know what I'm saying? He said, I heard Claudia Walls will collapse from all the men she had. God damn. Say so young chick squirt so hard they be knocking the paint off the wall. I'm trying to date something high. And these millennials will eat grocery when they not eat my home. I'm trying to date something. All right. All right. Play with it if you want to. I think they just be hating on the younger bras out here in the goddamn street. And that's a shame. Damn it. If y'all was hoes when y'all was coming up, give the babies a chance to be hoes. Fucking up the game out here. Got Listen, I'm going to go on and get on up out of here because I got to get on some of this acetic minifin, some more of it, because it is throbbing because I'm running my damn mouth and I got to do like the Lord saying, hush. Appreciate y'all for rocking, man. Please remember to go to the WillieWilliamsShow.com. Please go to the Patreon, the Willie Williams Show. Ooh, that bit throb. Um, Y'all have a good one. I hope this was a good lesson for the day. A player out. Y'all have a good one.